Hello, my name is Leo Farnsworth and I work with the AIS Telecom team. Today we will be going through a quick tutorial on how to adjust some basic settings for your Ring Central extension. To sign into the portal where you can adjust your settings, navigate to service.ringcentral.com, enter your Ring Central email address or your extension's direct phone number to sign in and click Next. Once you have entered your email or your phone number, you will be prompted for your password. If you know your password, go ahead and enter it and click Sign In. Sometimes RingCentral will prompt you after this window for a six-digit code which they will email to you. If you have forgotten, do not know, or were not given your password, click on the Forgot Password link at the bottom. At the Password Reset window, confirm your email address and click the Reset button. Once you have confirmed the reset, you will receive an email with a button you can click to reset your password. Follow the prompts that the site this button links to in order to set your new password. Whether you knew your password or had to reset it, once you have successfully signed into your account from service.ringcentral.com, you will be given a dashboard for your extension. To change the settings for your extension, click the Settings option at the top of the window. From here, you can adjust many settings for your extension, including your own password, voicemail PIN, and security question by clicking on the Change Password button. After you have clicked the Change Password button, you will be prompted to enter your current password. Once you have entered your current password, you will be allowed to set your extension's password, PIN, and security question. The password is frequently used for signing into the portal we are using here, as well as the desktop and mobile Ring Central applications. Your PIN is used for accessing voicemail from a desk phone, and your security question is commonly used when you call Ring Central for support to validate that it is you who is calling them. From your extension settings window, you can also navigate to screening, greeting, and hold music to make adjustments to what callers will hear when they call you or when you place them on hold. For further information on any section in your settings, you can click the little information icons. From your call forwarding and voicemail section, you can control how long calls will ring to your extension on the desktop and mobile applications as well as on your desk phone. You can also add other extensions or numbers for the calls to ring to. From the call forwarding and voicemail section, you can also update your voicemail greeting by clicking the edit button at the bottom of the page. Once you have clicked the edit button under your voicemail settings, you will be provided with a window that you can select to record a custom greeting. You can do this by pressing the record button, which has a red dot. Once you have pressed the record button, you will be presented with three different options for updating your greeting. By phone, the system will call you and provide you prompts to record and save your greeting. If your computer has a headset or a microphone attached, you can record it by clicking on the computer microphone option. If you already have an audio copy of your desired greeting in an MP3 or WAV format, you can select the importing section to upload it. If you have any further questions or would like to learn more about adjusting your extension settings, please visit support.ringcentral.com where they have many great training resources. Thank you for joining us for this quick tutorial.